it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys five vegan recipes that you can make in five minutes. Yes, my friends, we are gonna make five very easy and very quick vegan recipes and vegan meals in just five minutes. Well, obviously, you can't make all of them in five minutes, okay? Each one takes five minutes, just to clarify. Okay, so I just wanna show you guys that vegan eating and plant-based eating doesn't have to be difficult, time-consuming, or anything like that. There's so many easy, very quick meals that you can make, especially if you are someone that's busy, that's on the go, and uh, you just don't have a lot of time or patience. It's totally okay. So I'm just gonna show you here how easy it is to make a very quick meal, five of them, in fact. So let's get started. Let's jump right into the first recipe. This is a couscous fried rice, but without the rice. And it's not really fried, but it kind of feels like fried rice, okay? So first, you wanna start with half a cup of couscous. So here I'm using dry couscous, and the fantastic thing about couscous is that all you have to do is add in hot water. So I'm using a kettle here, and I'm adding in the same amount of hot water, so half a cup of hot water, and I'm also adding in half a teaspoon of garlic salt, and then just mix that well. You'll notice that the couscous pretty much starts cooking and expanding right away. So right away, we're going to add in half a cup of mixed frozen vegetables, giving that a nice mix once again, covering that up, and then we're going to work on the rest of the ingredients while the couscous cooks, okay? So next ingredient is extra firm tofu. So I'm just chopping that up into small cubes. I'm using 85 grams or one serving of extra firm tofu. And into my tofu, we're going to add in one teaspoon of soy sauce and one teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, and we're going to mix that well. Once we have that, we can chop our green onion. I'm just using one stalk of green onion. I'm just chopping that up. And then we can just add in the tofu mixture into the couscous, mixing that well. And then if you want, you can plate it nicely or you can just eat it straight out of the bowl. I'm just plating it simply because I have to take photos. Yay! So I'm going to top everything with the green onions and some toasted sesame seeds. And that's it, guys look at that so that is couscous non-fried rice you can add in some more uh, sesame seeds and you can also add in some lovely sriracha you guys know me guys okay sriracha mm, so good so that goes really well and uh yeah this is super satisfying but uh very lazy very quick and very simple hope you guys try it All right, for this next recipe, we are going to be making a super simple rice noodle dish. Super quick, super easy, and very delicious. So to make this super quick, I'm using instant rice noodles that I found at the grocery store, and these are a game changer. So I just stick this into a nice bowl and add some uh, hot water from my kettle, and then I cover it up for like two minutes, and then they're ready to be thrown onto the pan and stir fried. So that's perfect. So while that's happening, I'm going to go to the uh, stove and add some broccoli into a pan, and then we are going to just cook it nicely. I just like to let it steam by covering it up. And then I'm gonna also add in some uh, edamame beans. These are frozen edamame beans. And then I'm just gonna add a little splash of water, cover it up again. And then after like two, three minutes, we can add in our rice noodles again. And then let's add in our sauce. So I'm using one tablespoon of tahini. If you don't have tahini, you can use peanut butter or almond butter. Let's also throw in one tablespoon of soy sauce, half a tablespoon or one tablespoon of uh, maple syrup or agave nectar one teaspoon of garlic powder, and optionally, you can also add in about a quarter teaspoon or half teaspoon of ground ginger. And then let's just mix that really well. If the rice noodles start getting dry, you can add in a little splash of water, but uh, this will cook really quickly because it's already pretty much cooked. You are just kind of letting the flavors, you know, infuse together. So this should only take like two more minutes or three more minutes. And let's plate it, guys. It's that simple, super quick, and so easy. This part is optional, but you can add in some like random garnish. I'm just grating a little bit of carrot on top. I just wanted a little pop of color. You can also add in some green onions. And of course, I'm gonna add in some sesame seeds as well on top. And there is my super easy, super lazy rice noodle dish. 
All right, guys. So this next recipe is going to be a chickpea mushroom taco. Just basically making a simple filling for a taco, and just giving you some ideas. So let's get started. So first, let's quickly chop some white mushrooms. I'm just going to chop them up like this. And then we also have here half a cup of uh, chickpeas, and then we're just going to mash them quickly with a fork. You can also use a food processor as well if you guys want to not use a fork. <laughs> We're also going to dice a quarter of a red onion. Actually, you could just use red onion or any other onion. I just happen to have red onion around. And now we are at the pan. We're going to add in one teaspoon of oil. And then let's add in our mushroom and our onion. And I also added in the chickpea mixture here as well. But I think I would have added that a little bit later in hindsight. Okay. I would have probably let the mushroom and uh, onion cook just a little bit first. But uh, whatever. It's all good. We added in all the ingredients. And then for seasoning, I just added in about one tablespoon of taco seasoning. Yes, my friends, that is the secret. It is already a pre-made seasoning, super simple. And if things start getting dry, you guys know what to do. Add in a little splash of water and just let that cook just for a couple minutes. And then it's pretty much ready to be put into a taco. And of course, you can dress your taco however way you want. I wish I had uh, soft shell tacos. Hard shell is like hard to work with. Okay, anyways, it's okay. Anyways, we're just filling up the taco. We're just going to add in the uh, mix along with some lettuce and some corn. And then, of course, you got to have that salsa. So that's it guys, that's pretty much how you make a really quick and simple and easy and yummy taco filling for those times when you are just craving some tacos. This is just one other way of making vegan tacos. Welcome to recipe number four. We are going to be making a couscous salad. Yes, we are using our beloved couscous once again. Love using couscous, especially for fast recipes because of how fast it is to prepare. So once again, we're adding half a cup of dry couscous into a nice bowl, and then we're gonna add equal amounts. So half a cup of hot water. And once again, I am seasoning with garlic salt. I'm adding in one teaspoon of garlic salt, and then we're gonna mix that nicely, cover that up, and then we can prepare the other ingredients. For the other ingredients, I'm using two pieces of sun-dried tomato. This is sun-dried tomato that has been uh, in oil. So I'm just chopping that up nicely, finely, and that's going to give it some extra lovely flavors. And then I also have a can of artichoke hearts. So I'm using two artichoke hearts. I'm just going to chop that up, and then I'm also going to add that into my couscous. I also decided to add in a quarter cup of corn half a cup of chickpeas and then at this point i'm going to move it to a bigger bowl because this bowl was too small okay so bigger bowl the couscous expands my friends you want to use kind of a big bowl <laughs> and then here i'm just going to squeeze about a quarter of a lemon you can also use half a lemon a whole lemon if you're crazy okay we're also using one teaspoon of olive oil and then we're going to use some nice greens. I decided to go for arugula, or as the Italians call it, rucola. Sorry, guys. I think that's what they called it in Italy. Uh, but anyway, we're also going to top everything with a little black pepper. And that's simple. That easy. That simple. It's delicious. It's fresh. You could use some other green if you want. But yeah, that's how you make it. Hope you enjoy. All right, guys, so finally we have a sweet one, okay? We are making a really easy coconut French toast. I don't even know if I want to call it French toast, but I'm going to call it French toast. It's yummy. It's delicious. Here we go. So we're using a half a cup of coconut milk. We're going to put that into a nice bowl. We're going to use some uh, coconut sugar, one tablespoon. Let's also add in a teaspoon of vanilla. And if you want, you can also add in a little pinch of uh, salt, but I didn't. But yeah, mix that really well. And then let's go to the pan and we're going to add a little bit of vegan butter onto the pan. And then we have two pieces of bread. I'm using sourdough bread. I'm just going to toast it nicely alone until it starts to brown. And then I'm lazy. I'm just pouring that mixture into straight into the pan. Okay, so it's not this is why I'm saying it's not really French toast, but it's kind of French toast. You know what I mean? Anyway. That's what I did. I'm just going to flip it around a few times until it starts to kind of crisp up again. And that's it. So simple. I know. 
So yeah, I flipped it quite a few times just to make sure that uh, it wasn't like soggy. It was more like crispy on the outside. And then here I'm just gonna, you know, top my French toast. I'm using a bunch of uh, raspberries. And I also wanted to sprinkle on some powdered sugar, mainly for the aesthetic, let's be honest. We also have some coconut flakes. And then, of course, you can top with some maple syrup and enjoy, guys. That's how quick and easy it is. So, so easy. All right, you guys, so that is it for my five vegan recipes in five minutes video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found these helpful. Let me know down below what your thoughts were on this type of video format if you guys want to see more of these. And if you're new here, of course, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, if you guys want more videos similar to this one, more recipe videos, more helpful content, I'll link some playlists and some videos down below that you guys might find interesting. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.